So one of my biggest gripes actually with the Tesla Model 3 screen in particular is how big of a fingerprint just attractor it is. It shows everything, especially if you are in night mode, everything is black and it just shows fingerprints so, so bad. And I don't like that. I'm really not a fan of fingerprints. I just, I just don't like it. Doesn't look great. I don't like it on my cell phone. I don't like it on any screen for that matter. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of is I tend to get a lot of glare on the OEM screen, whether it be the sun coming in or even at night from street lights and such like that. I get a lot of glare. I get the fingerprints. There's gotta be a solution to this, right? Well, lucky for us there is. So Abstract Ocean actually makes a matte screen protector and it's a 9H hardness glass protector. So we actually did a video a while back, I'll go ahead and link it up in the iCard, where we tested the Model 3 screen to see exactly how scratch resistant it was. It didn't do terrible, but it didn't do the greatest. Definitely watch that video if you haven't already. My big thing is, if you have a diamond, you can easily scratch it. So if you have a diamond ring or something like that, and you go to like pull the lever down, you could potentially scratch it. If you have passengers, they could potentially accidentally scratch it. A lot of potentials here, and this screen does not come cheap. It is a $1,300 replacement. So you wanna protect this, but the great thing is Abstract Ocean actually has a matte screen protector, so not only will the screen be protected from being scratched, but also the glare will not be as prevalent as well as fingerprints, which are my two big gripes as we just mentioned. So I wanna kind of install that with you. They now have a brand new third gen product with a super easy install guide. And for those of you who aren't super keen on having a matte screen protector because it will slightly dull everything, it doesn't affect anything visually, but it just does dull it just a tad, is they do still have the HD. So the HD one basically goes right over your screen and you can't even really tell it's there. So for those of you who prefer that, it is still an option. It does have oleophobic properties and everything. So fingerprints will clean off a lot easier should you decide to go with that one. You will still kind of see them somewhat, but they are super easy to clean off compared to the OEM screen. Now, one product I would also recommend, especially if you go with the HD version, is their little abstract ocean-like screen wipes. Actually, you just can spray it on there and use this to clean it, which comes in super handy, super easy to use. So yeah, I'll go ahead and link these down below too. So the Gen 3 screen protectors come in a box as such. And the nice thing with these is install is super, super easy. So there's just like a little plastic piece that actually snaps onto your screen. You can sit the screen protector in it, push it towards the screen, and it'll basically align it perfectly every single time, which is great. Takes all the guesswork out of having to install it. So if you hit the little car down here, you can see all your settings. If you just go to display, screen clean mode, you can see like all the little like thumbprints and just like even doing this, like it's just so many and I don't like that. So we're gonna take care of that and never have to worry about it again. So in this kit, you actually get everything you would need to help install this. There is no need to use the tape. That is a different install method. If you'd like, you certainly can do that though. Uh, but here you have some wet wipes. You have a nice lint-free cloth. Here is that black snap piece that I was telling you about that will snap onto the screen. And that way we can perfectly align the screen protector and then easily just remove this. And then here you have the screen protector itself. And that is it. So in this little packet, like I said, there'll be some wet wipes, a lint free, but also on the other side, you still have like the main installation stickers if you decide to go that route, but you have your dust stickers too, which these can also double as if you want. So cleaning the screen and prepping it is super, super important. You don't want any pieces of dust. You don't want any fingerprints on there. You wanna make sure you get rid of all that before you apply this. So take your time. We're just gonna go over this with this little wet wipe. It is sufficiently wet, which is super nice. Clean pretty much everything. You'll see some few pieces of like dust and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. You're going after mainly fingerprints with this. The dust we will get with one of these stickers. So now we'll just kind of go over it with our lint free real quick. Just kind of like give a quick little polish if you will. Make sure all the residue is gone. There's no liquid. So once you have that done, that is where these dust stickers are gonna come into play. You're gonna want to just dab 
on any piece of dust you see, normally I just kind of go over like the whole screen kind of like this because I'm paranoid about having dust under my screen protector. You just won't have the screen protector sit flat and it'll kind of have like a little like air bubble type of thing. It's really not a big deal as long as you go over it. So one thing you will want to do is make sure you turn off your air vent. You don't want to have that blowing around any kind of dust or like dander or anything like that. Anything that could potentially get on the screen in between us making sure we clean it and then taking our screen protector out of the case and installing it. That will just ensure you have a super nice clean install without any dust. So I think that's pretty good. We're just going to take this sticker and normally I kind of just stick it somewhere super handy. That way I have it in case I need it. And now this giant frame is just that. It is actually a frame that will fit on here. It has up right there. I don't know if you can see that. The nice thing with this though is it just snaps right on and will ensure your screen protector is installed perfectly without any gaps or anything like that. So just kind of push that on. As you can see, we got a little piece of hair on here from just moving around so we can get that. Next up, we're gonna have our screen protector. So I am choosing to go with the matte anti-glare version. They do though have the HD clear, which actually just sits right on there and is pretty much invisible. So it doesn't really change any kind of clarity. This one will change the clarity just a tad because it is matte. But a lot of monitors nowadays, like computer monitors and stuff like that, are actually matte themselves. I just don't mind it because that's kind of what I'm used to. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, this is super thin glass. It is a little flexible. So if you need to like lift up a corner to get something, you certainly can. Just don't make any like hard bends in it because that will snap it. It is glass after all. It does tell you exactly what to do. It says this is the back piece and then please peel off this film before application and it tells you which direction is up and which direction is left. So you are looking at what I will be looking at on the screen. We want it like this with the sticker on the top left. So as you can see right there, you can see that sticker says top and left. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my little dust grabber ready because when you do take this off it's going to be a little bit staticky so you just kind of want to take this off you don't want to touch the side that's going against the screen though you want to avoid that so we're just going to hold this get our last bits and pieces here and then all you're going to want to do is just take this screen protector sit it in the bottom get your corners lined up and as you can see, it is now attaching itself. These are removable should you ever need to remove it. And it's just doing its thing. So here we have a bubble, but not to worry. We can just take our little lint-free cloth right here. If you have a credit card, you can put that in there and that'll help smooth it out. But you can also just kind of fold it a little bit and then you can just kind of push this towards the edge and bubble gone. Now say you have like a little fiber or something under there, what you can do is actually just kind of use your nail and just kind of lift it up. And as you can see, it starts to uh, come right off of that. Then you can use a dust grabber, kind of stick it in there, get that piece, and then just sit that right back down. And same thing, you can just kind of use this and that'll help push it right back in. Then you can just take off this piece right here, which just snaps right back off. You can start from the top work your way down. But that will give you a perfect install, which is by far an awesome little tool. This is actually the first time I've seen this. I haven't played around with this at all. And I can say it worked very, very well. Pretty much anyone can do this. Maybe I should call like a five-year-old and see if five-year-old can do it. I bet you they could. And then the last thing to do is just press and hold this to exit the screen clean mode. So in a few cases, less than 1%, some people have actually said putting a screen protector on their Tesla, whether it be a Model 3, a Model S, or Model X, they tend to get some phantom presses every now and then. Now there's a super easy fix, and all you do is do a double scroll wheel reset, which basically you just push in both of these scroll wheels, wait for your screen to go black, and then when it comes back on, it will auto calibrate, and that should get rid of everything. So just make sure if you do get any kind of like weird things going on with your screen, just do that or just out of habit, putting a screen protector on 
just double scroll wheel reset, but just kind of like any phone, if you do a phone, they actually tell you to do the screen protector with your phone off so that when you turn it back on, everything works as it should. You know, I don't like to do videos without hooking you guys up and Abstract Ocean has come through big here. So a lot of you have actually said, I've already used your code, Eric, but I want to buy that new product. Well, we have worked with them and they now have a special code just for the screen protectors. If you use code TISCREEN, all one word, I'll link it down below too, you can get 15% off of the screen protector even if you've used the code Tesla Inventory for 15% off your full order. So the screen code only works for these 9H hardness screen protectors. But those of you who would like to add those that don't have them yet, but have already used our Tesla inventory code, you can certainly do so. Or if you haven't used the Tesla inventory code, you certainly can add this to your car as well as whatever you want and get 15% off your first order. Definitely check them out. My two must haves are definitely gonna be the center console wrap because as I just said, I hate fingerprints. I don't want them on the screen and I don't want them on the piano black of the center console. So I have mine wrapped in that beautiful matte black, but they have all kinds of cool colors. We just did a wrap party at my house the other day. I had like, I think like 10 or 11 cars come in just in one day just to get the center console wrap. And of course, my second favorite being the matte screen protector. So definitely check those out. Again, huge thanks to Abstract Ocean for helping sponsor the channel and providing all you guys with an awesome coupon code that you can use. Yeah, and comment down below too, have you guys used any of these screen protectors and do you prefer the matte anti-glare, anti-fingerprint or do you prefer the super crystal clear HD? I'm always kind of curious. That's basically it though. Thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Go and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.